Look at that. Hello and welcome back to Daily Diaries. This week has been, let's just say, a very short week. Well, not short, but it's been, I feel like it's been one of those weeks. When we thought 2020 was starting off bad, like 2021, the whole world has gone crazy, it would seem. And yes, I don't even know what's happened to my face. This is another issue that I'm facing currently. Lance decided he wanted to try and pop them and I don't know what's happened to them. I have two friends to start the year. Anyway, it's been a, like since New Year, we've still had training because we've been lucky enough to carry on through this lockdown. Oh, that's another thing, lockdown was announced. So we're now in lockdown again until like March probably. If we're struggling, let's say, make sure you have someone to reach out to because I know everyone's saying that, but reach out to a friend and family because even if you're feeling fine, they might not be. So reach out, say hello, ask them how they are. Not just once, ask them a couple of times because they may not tell you the first time if they're not doing okay. And just stay safe. But in the meantime, this is a little bit of a, some training from this week. So about to get in the pool and I thought I was gonna, I'm gonna run through some of my New Year's resolutions. I don't know what my curtains are talking about right now. Whenever I run and warm up, it's like, bloody hell, look at that, hold of that. New Year's resolution number one for me is to stop biting my nails. I am absolutely terrible at biting my nails, especially when I get anxious or I think it's just like a thing that happens to me. And you know, with hands, face and space and all of that, it's not good to be a nail biter in COVID times. So, Yes, I'm gonna stop biting my nails. That's number one. So if you ever see me biting my nails, shout at me. Robbie always already tells me, oh, stop biting your nails, papa. So shout at me. So yeah, that's resolution number one. Another resolution I have is to spend more time chilling. I find it really hard to sit down and do nothing. I'm a very much a get up and go and move around. And if I've got nothing to do, I'll tidy the house or I'll clean and clear out a cupboard. I don't know, it just makes me feel good. But I need to try and slow down a little bit. That's another one. Another resolution I have is, well, it's not necessarily a resolution, it's just like a continue doing, is my obsession with plants. Now, here are my plants. As you can see, I've got loads of like stuff in hanging baskets and all over the place. I've got lots of things propagating all over the table. I've got succulents in the window. Um, so yeah, I'm a, pl a pretty much plant obsessed at the minute and I've got loads more where that came from. So I wanna be able to continue doing that, caring for them and making sure that they grow and learning more about plants. So I wanna like learn a little bit more about how to care for them properly. That's another resolution. Also, look, oh, look at my yarn stash glowing in the in the light. So I thought I would show you some of my some of my crochet creations recently. Lots of them are things I've been making for Robbie, but here are some that I've been making for myself. So here is the blanket that I recently made. Well, it's an advent calendar from Crochet Society. Very colourful, very nice, very soft. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't believe I'm just doing this in my boxes, but whatever. I've got this, which is a wool in the gang pattern and wool. It's thick, it's chunky, it's quite a heavy wool thing because it's so chunky, chunky. Oh, yeah, though. It's so chunky, but it's so like comfy and cozy, if you can imagine how it's like getting a warm hug from a cloud, a rainbow cloud. Hey! And then let me fold that up. This is my first ever crochet jumper. So, which one's the front? Again, it's on my Made With Love Instagram, but this is the Sunflower Rays pattern, and look how cute this is. It's rainbow, it's got like, rain hearts on the cuffs, kind of flared, like how fun, right? I love it. And then the, my first ever knit jumper that I made is this one. <gasps> one of the ends hasn't been weaved in properly. I do wholeheartedly apologize. But this doesn't look far off from store-bought, right? Come on. So yeah, my obsession continues. And again, it's not really resolution, but I want to continue to create things and learn things about crochet and knitting. And 
because I've kind of been obsessed with crochet recently rather than knitting, so I want to get back on the knitting bandwagon as well, but you know, eventually. One step at a time, eh? One step at a time. Okay, so now it's time for the question and answers. Okay, first question is from Paul Whelan who says, a diamond question. When you dive synchro, do you and your partner use audio or visual cues to say synchronize or do you rely on muscle memory developed through your hours of practice? Now that's a good question. The long and short of it is, is that you get to a stage where you literally just say, ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. And you go. And once you're in the air, there isn't really all that much you can do because when you're spinning around, you have to do your own dive. If you're falling, you can't change gravity at that point and you can't change too much about your, your like trajectory away from the board, so you can't change your distance, so you just have to do the best dive you can. But there are visual cues as well as us talking to each other as well because we can, although we can say one, two, three, go, we can often move our arms in a slightly different way depending on how we're feeling sometimes. So we always kind of keep each other in the corner of our eye to be able to adjust to what the other person's doing if there was something that was going wrong or that it's slightly different. But usually by the time the Olympics comes around, you just want to be at the one, two, three, go stage because that's where you're going to be at your best. Okay, next question is, hey Tom, do you, Lance and Robbie, like Indian food? And if you like, which one do you like? I, yes, love Indian food. It's one of our favorite things, actually. Sometimes on a Sunday evening, we'll get a takeout. I love to try and cook and experiment with Indian food. I'm, you know, but I feel like Indian food, is just, it's so rich in flavor. I love the spices. I love the, you know, the coconut flavors that come through it. And I love, there's just so many, like, I love the fact that it makes sweet and savory and, yeah, I mean, it's just so, I mean, it's delicious. What's not lot to like about it, really? Um, and yeah, Robbie and Lance love it too. So we have lots of different favorites. And we try and try something new every time that we go to uh, an Indian restaurant or when we used to go to an Indian restaurant because I think it's always fun and nice to be able to try something new. And Robbie gets excited about trying new things too because if we tell him it's new and he's not had it before, he basically tries to steal everything off our plates. <laughs> Okay, ne next question is, are there any planned training camps? Where and when is the British National Diamond Championships the this year? Loving hearing Robbie's sweet conversations, which is, I mean, they are cute. So, planned training camps. No planned training camps at the moment because we really just don't know what we're doing uh, in terms of the COVID situation. We don't know what the competitions are going to be. And as for the diving championships, they were meant to be in Sheffield, but with this national lockdown, I don't think they're going to be going ahead. So. The long and short of it is that we just have to try and be ready for anything and everything because we never know quite what the next step for anything is going to be. And the top comment was, experiment and learn for yourself warmed my heart. You know, when it comes to things like baking and crafts and e even eating, like kids make a mess and we can either be upset about the mess that he makes or just let him experiment and let him feel uh, things and also just if he does make a mess we try and help him and encourage him to help us tidy it up so he kind of understands the consequences of making a mess that he cleans it up as well but he kind of enjoys that and he, we kind of make it a bit of a game and when we're baking I just try and get him involved as much as possible in making cakes and doing things for himself because yeah it may not come out perfectly but the fact that he's trying and he's doing it and he's enjoying it I think is really I don't know, it's really nice to be able to see him enjoy himself, especially in the kitchen, because it's something that I love to do. Um, and also crafts, I always grew up doing lo loads of crafts and I think it's just a fun way to express yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's Daily Diaries. I know there wasn't that much action in going on, but some New Year's resolutions, a little bit of my crochet, a little bit of my plants. And if there's anything in particular that you like to want to see uh, in videos, please let me know in the description box below because I'll try my best to include it. But in the meantime, I love you. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week.